Hi, I'm Dan Whitaker. I'm here today to talk to you about how the incorrect hip turn in the backswing leads to a loss of power and inconsistency in your game. I'm now being joined by one of my students. We can see him on the screen right here that his hip turn is incorrect. So we can see how he is loading the his hips towards the target, his weight is and pressure are moving over the front foot, and his left knee is coming in with way too much. So his left knee is going into internal rotation way too much, therefore he has to spin out on the way down, so he's losing pressure movement on the way down because he's not getting it over the front foot. This is leading to a lack of club head speed, massively affecting strike because the club head is moving in a different direction every single time, affecting the contact point. The incorrect hip movement in the backswing really does lead to a multitude of faults, okay, particularly on the way down. You know, it can start off where with the driver and other clubs that you end up hitting way too down on the ball. This is seen a lot in good players. Okay, in kind of people who then struggle with cuts and what have you, if they're shifting the hips too much towards the target in this manner, pressure over the front foot, they can end up backing out of it and this can lead to quite a weak slice and off to the right hand side but you're definitely going to be losing power. So one of the problems that's associated with it is that what tends to happen is people shift this pelvis towards the target too much, so the left hip is too far over the outside of the left heel. The problem with this is that the knee is now massively in an internal rotation, but I can't externally rotate the knee and shift pressure because when I move my knee, my hips are going back to restabilize themselves. So I actually can't get a weight shift or a pressure shift over my front foot because that left knee's collapsed too far inward to help support me because all of my weight is loaded way too much over this left heel. So that really does affect that downswing a lot because obviously you're not going to be able to make a weight shift so you're either going to be standing up, that'll then cause you to have to extend your arms to reach the golf ball and lots of other things. Another bit that tends to be seen is that I see a lot of people in an effort to try and get their left hip high or in line at a dress with the shoulders and the hips aligned in a reverse K position, they put their hips way over that front, front side of this, outside, sorry, of the left ankle. Now what they end up doing is, from here where that's positioned, they'll turn, and now all of the weight's going through this front foot, they'll get the knee to come in, so there's a heck of a lot of pressure now going through my left ankle, and I can't shift any pressure forwards so I have to back out so whenever I see this on my pressure plate right here I'm always seeing that pressure is moving over the front foot it then shifts a little bit further in transition and then backs out through the golf ball but it's never shifting effectively because it's actually starting to move backwards halfway down in the downswing now when you've got the fact that your tailbone is moving way too far towards the target so the tailbone's right here and that is shifting too far towards the target, we're not loading pressure correctly. So we want to be making sure that if you drew a line on this right hip, okay, you want to be staying on that line to about halfway back in your backswing around here, then it can move away a little bit. But if straight away in the backswing yours is already moving away, you can now start to see this right leg's losing any flex it had and pressure is massively going over that front foot then we'll always tend to see a spin. The other thing it means is that you can't load that, you can't lower the right hip properly in the downswing when you've shifted the pelvis too much towards the target, because if you do, you're gonna be stuck massively under it, hitting blocks or hooks. The other thing it leads to is you cannot get that left side or left pelvis or left side of the body to work upwards correctly through impact. You're always gonna be spinning it. Therefore, this then leads to like a cut across kind of strike or because the weight's already here a good player you know really really good player who compresses their irons will tend to struggle with the driver and only be able to cut it because they're going to have to start down with this upper body they can't get the kinematic sequencing correct by starting the downswing from the ground up because they've got way too much pressure already distributed over that front foot meaning that their golf swing is very inefficient so I'm going to be joined back on screen again by my student and we're going to be able to see the changes he's been able to make within his game. So we can see here that he's no longer loading that left side of the pelvis in the backswing and he's actually shifting weight and pressure correctly in the backswing, moving it 
into his right side how you should be doing. Now, what we can then see is he's now able to make the correct lateral motion through the golf ball. He's able to get that right side moving downwards and we can actually see that that left hip is starting to work upwards so he's getting the correct pelvic tilts through impact which is vital to the changes we wanted to see. Now he was a very good iron player before, still is, but that was the strength of his game. His weakness was off the tee where he used to hit heel cuts. We can now see that he's able to hit little draws and he's hitting the ball further. This leads us on to some videos we've got coming soon. One is going to be on how to use the hips correctly to generate more power in your downswing. If you'd like to see that, please subscribe to the channel below. If you'd like to get more information from me, please go to my website, which is damwhitakergolf.com, where all my contact details are stored. Look, talk, look forward to talking with you again soon, and thanks a lot for watching.